morning brothers and sisters in Christ how's everybody doing today it's Nick I'm doing great <clears throat> I excuse me I <laughs> I just got out of church a couple minutes ago it was excellent um, I just had a brief short word for everybody guys because we all need we all need to be fed and this is just something I felt that I should share so mark 1230 tells us and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength and we know that's the greatest command right the second is like it love your neighbor as yourself now how can you love your neighbor as yourself if you don't love the Lord your God with all your mind your soul your strength right so I've been meditating on this and things have been happening it's just been powerful so what I do is I, I mean, it's obviously hard to always do this, but you get better every time and you grow with it like a muscle. So you set your mind on God constantly, guys, like all the time, every second, every moment, every minute. When I'm walking places, when I'm driving places, when I'm working, everything I do unto the Lord. There's a scripture. I can't remember what it, which one it is exactly, but it says, do all things as if you're doing it unto the Lord, like as if you're doing it for Jesus. So while I'm working, I'm doing a little construction gig right now. Um, as I'm doing the gig, I'm literally doing it as if I'm doing it for Jesus and unto him. And it's not hard to understand. It's actually really easy. It's as if Jesus is right there and you're doing it for him. And I promise every soul that truly loves Jesus and wants to make him happy and proud and just love him, you would do it with with good heart you do it out of love you don't do it because it's an obligation you do it out of love and out of just the the joy of the spirit the holy ghost just moves and dwells inside of the believers and it's just it makes things so much easier guys you just have to move with it but again going back to the scripture i'll read it again this is mark 12 30 and thou shalt love the lord thy god with all thy heart you have to love him with everything guys with your whole heart and with all thy soul, with your whole soul, guys, everything, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. You guys, we have a lot of strength in our bodies every morning. We have a lot of, the thing is, is with unbelievers, or even a lot of believers, which is unfortunate, is they watch Netflix, they watch TV shows, they listen to all this garbage music. They live a worldly life when we're called not to live a worldly life. We're the light of the world, guys. We're not supposed to be part of it. What what communion does light have with darkness? None. What do, You compare light and darkness, they're com two completely opposite things, guys. And we're the salt of the earth. We're the light that God called us to be. So, since I was reborn almost two years ago... Two, almost two years ago, August 2020 is when I was reborn. Um, I put everything aside. My desires changed. I didn't watch Netflix anymore. I didn't watch garbage, uh, garbage on YouTube. I didn't watch. I didn't listen to all the rap and all the disgusting music that's derogatory and just puts garbage in the mind. Because garbage in, garbage out, guys. It's it's so true. And it's like, would any of that stuff glorify God? Because we're going to all stand before him. For it's appointed for man to die once and after that the judgment. So when I'm when I'm being judged and I'm standing before God. And he shows like. He shows me everything that I was doing with my life. And it's not glorifying him in any way. I feel so bad. That's me personally. You guys are probably. Everyone's different obviously. But I want to shine. I want to be that light that just is a flame walking through the earth. I want to. As I'm walking guys like. Like, people will look at me a certain way. It's because the Holy Spirit dwells inside of us and the darkness doesn't comprehend the light. And it's like, they don't understand what it is, but they know it's different. They know it's something unexplainable. And it's because the carnal mind can't comprehend the things of the Spirit. That's what the Bible says. They can't until they're reborn and they know what it truly is to be reborn and have the Spirit of God to comprehend these things. <sighs> Excuse me. Um... So yeah, I don't know. I love that verse. So what I've been doing, guys, is doing everything unto the Lord. It's hard at times. Yes, it's not easy. No one ever said it would be easy. The flesh is at enmity with the spirit. There's a fight. There's a tug. But I'm t I tell you what, guys, every day I'm getting stronger. Every moment I'm getting stronger. Do I slip and make mistakes? Yes, we're human. It happens. 
Am I getting stronger? Most certainly in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, I am. And he sees it. I pray to him every day. I talk to him all the time. People probably think I'm crazy and it's like, that's fine. The Lord knows what it is. I'm just, I'm in love with Jesus, man. And it's like, as believers, you should be too because he's our king, he's our God and you should wanna make him happy because we're the ones that he called out of the world to be his light. So gotta be strong and push guys. We got this. We got this. I'll read you another scripture. Um, John 15, 4. Jesus tells us, abide in me and I in you. Same thing. We have to abide in him, guys. Abide in him and he will abide in us. And he's already in us. But, man, it grows. Like I said, it's like a muscle. When you go to the gym, guys, and you work out, right? You're doing curls. What happens over time, if you do, if you go to the gym four times a week and you do your curls, right? What happens to your arms over the weeks? They get bigger, they get stronger, the muscles grow. The same thing happens to your spirit, I believe. The same thing happens when you meditate on the word of God and are constantly walking with him and moving with him. The muscle grows, that spirit is, is fueled, that anointing is just enhanced by the word of God, by, the, by Christ Jesus, our savior, and by the Holy Spirit, like, you know? So how bad do you want it? Do you wanna be part of the world and just get the, the little things of this life while we're here? I sure don't. I want my full inheritance. I want everything the devil's stolen from my forefathers and I want the blessing. I want it in Jesus' name. And I say that humbly, but it's true. My desires are not of wickedness anymore. When I was unborn, I didn't care about anything God. You pull out a Bible, I'd laugh at you. Now I would literally get on my knees and be executed for the Lord right now, and he knows that, and it's true. I love him so much. He's the king, like, we're in this world, but not of it, guys. Scripture right there. We're in it, but not of it. This isn't our home. This isn't where we belong. But Lord, put us here. We're here. There's a judgment day, guys. I want to be rewarded. You know what I mean? And we're already give. We're already guaranteed heaven. But and I can't wait. I can't wait to stand stand before. I'm so nervous. It's the scariest thing ever. But like to stand before the throne of God, to stand in the heavens where there's no pain. There's no, our carnal mind can't understand the things of heaven. It's so it's so mighty and out of this world. But angels seraphim cherubim the wings the holiness the light it's like i melt at it i weep at it because i crave it so bad guys so i urge each and every one of you to practice abiding in god constantly move with him talk to him all the time all the time in your spirit in yourself or out loud it doesn't matter just speak to him, get closer to him, read your scriptures, it enhances it. It's the milk, it's the bread, it's the meat that he wants to feed us. He gave us that as our manual, guys. It guides us, but man, like he's been doing so much in me, so much work in me, and I love it. I love every bit of it, and it's a blessing that we're alive right now. It's a blessing we're here today. It's just, we're here today, gone tomorrow. We don't know when our checkout date is. Only he knows that. We don't know when it is. So why not be as close and as in intimate with God as you can be? I'm telling you, the more you get closer to him, the more he gets closer to you, the more the blessings will fall. It's true, like he wants to bless us, he loves us. I pray over everybody watching this God that this message touches their spirit, that there is a word of encouragement over him, God. I pray that your holy angels guard, guide, and protect whoever hears this, Father. Open their eyes and let them come closer to you. I plead the blood of Jesus over everybody that hears this. I just pray for breakthrough, God, for their eyes to open, for, for them to crave the gifts of the Spirit, God, for them to know you deeper and more intimately so we can spread your message like a wildfire, God. In Jesus' holy, precious name I pray, amen. I'm out, guys. Have a good day. God bless you all.